<laughs> Welcome to the adventures. So I'm gonna do yet again another cooking video because you guys, it can save you a ton of money. Get out of the truck stop. When I say a ton of money, I'm talking a thousand dollars a month if you cook in the cab. I don't know about you, but that's a mortgage payment that could buy you some really nice things or heck, maybe you can retire. And let's not talk about like the health benefits that it adds. So. I'm gonna kind of cover some of the things people are like concerned about. Tonight's uh, menu for Trucker's Kitchen is gonna be potato cakes, caramelized carrots, and fried grouper. So first off, um, yes, I'm using foil. I get it, you guys. Foil's not that great for us, but eating McDonald's is way worse. So I'm making it easy on me for cleanup. I didn't know if these were gonna stick to the pan really crazy and how well it would clean. And sorry to to ruin it for you guys but the pans that come with your air fryer and whatnot are just as harmful a chemical as the foil okay so I used instant mashed potatoes I added some um, little onions chopped up in there I added some milk and then cheese on top and then I put some oil on it and fried them up I'm super excited that they're gonna be really good now let's take a look at these caramelized carrots so some butter on the bottom of the foil and then I put my carrot shreds on top of that with some cinnamon and honey a little salt and then I just put a little swash of water probably like a tablespoon rolled it all up into a foil pouch and stuck in the air fryer so I stirred those first then I got on my potato cakes and then came the fish so let's go ahead and pull it out It looks pretty excellent so I breaded it myself and I know right off y'all are thinking how are you cooking fish in the truck that's gonna be so stinky that's disgusting like I'm not trying to smell like the food court you guys you're acting like you're at home and the house is airtight it's not like so much air moves through this truck there's no way that your truck is airtight so with that being said as soon as you're on the road and I started cooking this when Scott was still driving the smell is already getting out of the truck and then it comes to the vent setting. So on each side of the bed, there's these vents here. You turn the blower up so it's blowing the smell out and then you put the front vent on the floor vent that pushes it up and then you crack the windows only a couple inches and it drafts it out. It's an amazing concept. And then you properly dispose of all of your trash and you just wipe things off. Like it's not complicated. You clean your house, right? It really doesn't sink in here. If we were to get out and go take a shower and come back in, the smell would typically already be gone. And if it's not, within 30 minutes of getting down the highway, it's it's gone. So how did I make the fish? I first put some oil on it. I then salted and peppered it. And then I put some, it's not flour. It's like a bread crummy kind of mix. It's really fine. And then added some Old Bay seasoning and then sprayed it with oil again and put it in the air fryer for about 10 minutes or so. So six minutes in, I flipped it over. Um, and then at the last minute, I put the broiler on. This little one thinks she's going to get some snacks, but I didn't make a mess this time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. She's ready to eat. But guys, I know it seems like a hunk complicated meal but it's really not it took let's see the clock again uh, 35 minutes I started about 15 minutes up the road so 45 minutes and again I'm making you guys a video so um, I don't think that's too bad like we will eat this and get cleaned back up and not be stopped more than an hour so obviously this is a meal that you do when you have a little tiny bit more time and that way you can really eat well and um, yeah you guys save a lot of money do good on your health and this is olive oil so even though I'm saying it's fried it's not really fried it's air fried and I love the air fryer that we have it has three different shelves in there so I lined up the different pans I cooked it all um, some of it was all in there at one time makes it super super easy it's the instapot air fryer I love it you can find the link at our Amazon store so if anything that you see that we're using and you like you can do that and just click that link buy it makes it super easy you can also have it shipped to Amazon locker which is at some of the truck stops so we have an entire video on that we really put out a lot of information some of its older some of it you really have to go deep dive and find but check out the playlist of truckers kitchen there's a ton of information on there for you lots of recipes and just tips and tricks on how to organize it and make 
cooking easier in the cab. And pretty soon I'm going to be doing an entire tour on just the, the kitchen section and doing a deep dive on to all the things to set up and how to make it easier. All right guys, you be safe and eat well. Okay, so guys, so what we spent on this meal uh, was about $20 for both of us. This is probably one of our more expensive meals because the fish was kind of expensive. But yeah. We went out with uh, two other friends, so there was four of us that went out to dinner on St. Patty's Day. And we haven't been out to eat for a while. <laughs> we live under a rock. What we spent for four of us to eat, we could probably eat off of for two weeks. For yeah. just one, one brunch. Yeah. yeah. I mean, was it was crazy. pretty good, but I have to say, I cooked it for good, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the reason the fish is also a little bit more expensive is because it is local caught fish. So it's um, locally stocked from a small store. So. All right, let's see what it tastes like. <laughs>